Guys, this is Parkour Potato, and this is going to be an educational video on how to remove an ignition lock cylinder that goes into the column of a 70s era Ford. I'm making this because I could not find jack on the internet on how to do it. I had other cars, I had different years, I had ignitions that were on the dash, but I pretty much had to just get piece by piece information from different, complete different setups to figure this out. So this is exactly how my ignition cylinder came in the mail. There's this little pin right here. That is what holds it in. So you you can, when, when I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm gonna take the pin out and this is, this is how it goes in. It just slides in like that. You don't even need your steering wheel taken off for it. And essentially this is how it was behaving except I had the pin inside it can it, I wasn't able to take it out at all and I wasn't able oh I wasn't able to rotate it without the key so pretty much I had an ignition cylinder that didn't work in my dash or in my column that I had no clue how to take out and I'm gonna be showing you how to do that so just to show you how into this I am this issue for y'all I'm gonna be inserting it with the pin in, basically giving myself the same issue I had, just so y'all can see what to do. So, pin inside. Well, I guess I need to turn the key to put it in. So you'll see, when you turn the key, this pin depresses. You can press it in. So when you turn it, if it would focus, you can push this pin in. And that's how it stays in. Whenever you turn it, it doesn't automatically get pushed in. But that's a hint on how you're supposed to remove this. We have our ignition lock. Whenever it's in the normal position, no electricity going to it or anything, no accessories, nothing like that, this is how it goes in. You know, it would line up right here. And obviously I have the pin in, it's not gonna slide in. But the way you put it in is you turn it, you depress the key hole or the pin hole, and you just, you slide it in, and then you can't take it out. Well, here's how you fix it. First and foremost, take your steering wheel off. Use a steering wheel puller. Don't give yourself hundreds of dollars of issues because you wanted to skip a step of getting a fucking steering wheel puller, okay? They're like 20 bucks, and if you can't get one, then wait till you can get one. It is not worth breaking your steering steering column or breaking your turn signals or anything like that just so you can avoid getting a tool that you might get use out of in the future. You can even rent them at an auto zone for 20 bucks and get your 20 bucks back right then and there. So use a steering wheel puller. This is what it looks like, steering wheel off. Nothing else has changed. And you'll notice right here, there is this hole right here. That is where the retaining pin is. And the way you depress it is you're gonna wanna get something that can fit in that hole and that is sturdy. This, this is questionable. This is a paper clip I folded up, but it did the job. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn this to accessories. I can't really help you if I can't turn your ignition lock. Sorry about that. This is if you have the key and you can turn the ignition cylinder. You're going to put this paper clip and you're going to push up and you're going to push and pull on this cylinder so that while you're pushing on this pin, you can work it out and it's just gonna pull right out. Let me show you that. You can't really see what I'm doing right here, but like I said, you need something that'll fit into that little hole. I took a paper clip as you see and I've just, you know, and um, it's you got to make sure your lock is not locked. Make sure it's turned into the accessories position. Or in my case, I just turned it a little bit because I have no clue what the accessories position is on this car because I haven't run it yet. And I just, there's no indicators. So you're going, I'm going to use pliers to help me out on this for more leverage because this hurts my fingers. But I'm going to. I'm going to set it in the hole and then I'm going to use my pliers to get more leverage. 
I'm gonna push up with it, and then I'm there. Look at that. Pins in the hole. My pliers just fell. Pin is in the hole. Cylinder is out of the steering column. And that is how you remove an ignition cylinder from a 70s Ford in the column. Not on the dash, on the column. Thanks for watching, guys.